Thanks, Jimmy Broadbent. Good morning. Um, sorry about that. My GoPro died on the spot, literally there and then, while I was videoing some of the uh, the cars in pit lane and in Park Fermi. Um, really good night, though. I stayed at the circuit with David for a bit. We watched the TCR race and then went out for dinner in the evening and a really nice dinner came back and then i could barely sleep to be honest i i fell asleep with mr beast on it's, he's still on now um and to be honest my alarm didn't go off this morning and i don't know why um i used the alarmy app and for some reason on my phone it didn't go off i set it for half past eight so i could try and get to the circuit for nine because it's literally just over the around the corner and it, and it didn't go off so it's now currently 25 past nine, so I'm not too far behind, but it's time to go and get to the circuit. So we'll do some more filming today. It's looking nice outside, actually. It's looking bright and sunny. Look at this. A bit more Spanish in terms of the weather. So yeah, let's go on with it. And we're here and <laughs> I still get, sorry, get me back on. I still get really excited when I get to these things. I really do. I still get so excited coming to a circuit. Look at this. It sounds like uh, it's the Italian F bore on at the moment. So, no, not Italian. Jesus, we're in Spain, Chaz, come on. Or should I say Jesus? Anyway, it's time to get into the paddock, have a look around at some more Cleos that I've seen umpteen times this year, but still find exciting. And then go and find David. I think he'll be in his natural habitat. I'm a bit gutted. It looks like I missed qualifying that and I've left a few bits in the car, so I'm just gonna go get them now. But I suppose that means that I've got a while to enjoy the motorsport now until the Clio race is on later. But yeah, a bit gutted I missed qualifying. I feel like a bit of an idiot now, but let's go. Shadow, that is a tasty little wagon, isn't it? It's not just the normal A110 either, it's the A110S. Mucho tasty. Muy bien. Is it muy bien? I don't know. custom BRM chronograph watch uh, you get some prize money but you also win an Alpine A110 so that one will be his hell of a prize hell of a prize they're still wrapping the car down there I'm not quite sure what they're doing just here well I'm not quite sure red and green is the look to go for obviously it's the Castrol colors they already have an official Castrol car here but I don't think red and green goes well together. Anyway, let's go and watch it turn 10.
not going to be the best footage, but I've just witnessed the... Oh, I think I've missed him. No, actually, no, I've not. It's the Hyundai i30N Owners Club leaving the circuit. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyone that knows me well enough knows that I really, really want one of them. So I'll just, oh good God. There's still a load of them actually, look. Sorry, I'm going back. I'm just that excited to see them, I want to look. Oh, there's an i20N. Hang on, I'll change the mode on the camera. And to be fair, I doubt that makes any difference, but. <laughs> There's I 20 ends as well, they're mint. They're good sounding cars, really good sounding cars. Anyway, it's time for Cleo's. I'm gonna miss being on the grid today to walk down this way down towards turn one but it seems like this is the only way down there from this side of the circuit, otherwise you have to go outside the circuit to then cross a bridge to get to the infield. It's a bit weird. So I'm walking down this road and literally like if I make sure there's nothing coming, like that is the circuit. So yeah, this is very uh, almost exclusive, this bit. The other circuit, like the national circuit, that cuts off halfway down the straight is here. So I'm not even sure if I can get across. Here you go, here's some solid proof of what sort of access I have. You ready? Circuit. Obviously there is a barrier, but I could walk onto there if I wanted to. Which I don't, because I don't fancy a bollocking. And here's another example of that type of access. Circuit. <laughs> I'm not doing anything naughty because I'm not standing on the circuit, but that's literally it there. I'm not stupid enough to go walking onto that and get a massive telling off. Right now, I'm where the national circuit loops around this way and then goes back up there, which is quite cool. I'm actually a long way away from where I started, so interesting to see how quickly this walk has taken. So now I'm going to go further towards the straight, see if I can make my way around here but this is all the spectator bit. So as daft as this sounds, I'm closer to the circuit, but I actually want to be up there. This is a better angle for you, Mr. GoPro. Now, there's no marshals there, which proves to me that it's lunchtime. So I might be here for a bit. Spots of rain in the air. The sun may be out, but that massive cloud there says no. There are spots, of, it's landed on my face. There are spots of rain. If I turn the camera this way, I don't know if you'll get any on the lens. It's very unlikely, but still, there are spots of rain. It is starting to rain at Barcelona <laughs> in the last race. Oh, this is going to be mint. And I've just come to the end of the barrier. She's a spot. Season finished, everybody. Clear Cup Europe 2021. What a year. What a year. I'm a bit gone.
gutted I couldn't get back to the pit wall in time, but my god, I've been running all the way there. I'm knackered. So, time to get to the other end of the pit lane for when they come in. My GoPro won't die this time because it's got 39%. But that is it for Bayview Cup Euro 2021. I'm going to stop before I get emotional. about me getting emotional it's certainly emotional in the uh, in part Fermi I've come through the back of the paddock now expecting there to be loads of Clio's here parked up with all the drivers but no so I'm gonna go try and hunt down Frank Horn because I think he's just won the gentleman drivers cup overall and he was the guy that gave me the trophy at Monza I just had a quick chat with Frank um, it was a, a one-way conversation I think but I'm pretty sure he's actually just finished second in the championship which is Tough. I think uh, Lionel Viguier has just beaten him to it. Yeah, rough. Speaking of rough, a man that I first met and spoke to just before this race and had a really good laugh with, he was a really nice guy, is Quinto Stefano, and his race didn't, uh, didn't go smoothly. All of the uh, the marks on in the black is all like where the, the tyre delaminated after he got hit. And it's all like spun and been whipping the car and basically marked all of it. It's in a real way, real bad way. I mean, look how out of shape the back is. I mean, these little Clio's are tough, but that is beaten up. Very beaten up. He's obviously okay because he carried on racing with it like that, but yeah, they've had a they've had a fair few whacks from these boys. Dewey's car looks nice and clean, but it's a small consolation for the team, isn't it? Esa primera posición que aún no tiene dueño porque se la están disputando entre ambos pilotos. of the year that I'm gonna see um, last race meeting of the year for me and for David as well it's been very very emotional in my head right now I'm sort of holding it in because this has been an unbelievable year like I cannot explain to anyone that watches this how much it all means to be able to come out travel to Europe go to all these amazing places do all these incredible things see motorsport from the best seat in the house get all the information given to me you know get paid for doing this this is my job and it's it's still not sunk in yet and I've been doing real world commentary for 18 months now and yeah, still hasn't sunk in. But either way, right now it is time to go back to the hotel. It is 10 past five, everybody is packing down the paddock and I'm gonna go chill at the hotel a bit for a bit. <laughs> chill at the hotel for a bit, uh, get ready and then go to Opium where the end of season awards are. There's a coach coming from the paddock straight to Opium but I'm gonna drive there just cause much like David is, you know, he said it himself, master of your own fate then. I'm not gonna drink, I'm just gonna drive back so I can leave whenever I need to. And then, you know, there's no messing about. So all good to go. And probably the next shot will maybe be at Opium if I choose to take my GoPro with me. Um, pretty sure I will. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Okay, and then I'm back at the hotel. Why am I wearing a mask? I always do this. Anyway, at the hotel, Sharpened up, ready to go, and I'm gonna head over to Opium now in the center of Barcelona and go to the awards dinner. Gonna take you with me. Not sure how much I'm gonna get filmed there, but either way, it's the end of the year. It's the end of my motorsport year, my commentary year, the season for Clio's, all of it. You know, this is the final thing, basically. The final vlog, as far as I know, unless something else happens throughout the last sort of month and a half or so of the year. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched the vlogs this year. 
It's been good fun doing them, to be honest. I'm sorry if there's been any issues or if any of them have been a bit shit, but I've really enjoyed doing it and I'm glad that you've all enjoyed them. There's been a few people, especially, that have been really big fans of them. My mate James Underhill, especially, is uh, certainly eager to watch them when they come out, so thank you, James. But um, yeah, I'll do a proper roundup of my year on my website, which I will put a link to in the description below. It's chasdrakegod.com, simple as. But yeah, for now, let's get cracking, let's get to opium, and we'll see what the night brings us. Hey, this is a nice area, man. <laughs> There's towers and all sorts. The car park is down there, it's an underground one. There's Casino Barcelona here, and opium is through that way somewhere. So I'm gonna try and have a walk through and find it. To be fair, it looks like you should probably go around that way. Maybe on the front. So let's go that way. Well, this bit perfectly matches the bracelet, so I take it it's here. Here we are. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> what I was expecting but this is like quite the opposite it's really cool though like it's really chill the song that's playing right now is one that we used to play at the start of the sim races world broadcast so uh, that's a bit weird to hear but yeah, this place is cool man like really cool it's really smart it's just not what you'd expect really because when you hear like think of awards dinners and stuff you think of like a really posh like hotel or some restaurant or something but this is like quite the opposite well, it's a very posh club though, so I imagine it wasn't uh, cheap, so yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> As you can see, dinner has started. Thank you first, we thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate with us. Well, we're going to present the awards to our champions in Group B, and in Group D, and of course, Cleo Cup Europe overall. Let's see if we can get more noise, even louder, for our challengers champion from the GPA racing team, Kevin Jimenez! <laughs> Cup Europe champion for 2021 is Nicola Milan! Yeah. Bravo Nicola, congratulations. An amazing season. There is the BRM award as well. And a handshake between two rivals on track who was Portsmouth off track. Nicola Milan is the 2021 Cleo Cup Europe champion. 13 championships in the space of 10 years of clear racing, which is quite something. Okay, and I'm back at the car. Still sober. Um, here's how naive I am. I'm getting in the wrong side of the car, by the way, because I am parked that closely to the wall that I have to get in in this very undignified way, as if I was already leathered. And I've got a gear stick up my arse or handbrake, whichever one it is. What a night. Brilliant night. My voice is killing me because you've had to shout over the music to speak to anyone. Shut up. What a great night. Awesome night. David nailed the presentation as you would expect he would. Everyone was great to speak to. Paul Cockine, a fantastic guy. Love him. Brilliant. Frank Horn as well. Absolute legend. Just to prove how naive I am though, um, I exited the club and walked out into like the courtyardy bit and some bloke comes up to me saying, Charlie, Charlie. I was thinking, how does this bloke know my name? <laughs> Turns out he was offering me some <laughs> Anyway, obviously said no, because I'm not a naughty boy. And uh, yeah, for some reason it took me a while to process. Anyway, I'm gonna drive back now, back to the hotel and crack on, there's a car behind me, so I'm going, bye. Good morning, it is now quarter to seven on Monday morning. I'm in the trusty Corsa and it's time to go to the airport. I'm flying home at about 25 past 10 today. It's about an hour to get to the airport. So I'll get there with plenty of time to spare. Um, didn't sleep too great, I must admit. I got back at about, I think, 10 to two <laughs> in the morning. Um, completely sober though, you know, I'd, I hadn't had anything at all and it was still a fantastic night. I really enjoyed myself. Really, really grateful for it all. Grateful for what a great year it's been. You know, it's it's been insane, absolutely insane. It's a real shame it's all over, actually. It's uh, it's quite hard to process at this point that this is my last, not just my last race weekend of the year, 
but my last trip of the year as well. Um, even still, I'm really grateful for everyone that's sort of helped me get to this point and believed in me to do it. Obviously, David for the opportunity as well. I, I can't say it enough. He's probably fed up with me saying thank you this weekend. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go straight to the airport, get on the flight and get home. And that's it. So obviously you expect another sort of roundup of the year at some point on my website as I've already mentioned but thank you for watching I will see you in 2022 have a wonderful Christmas and New Year if I don't get a chance to speak to you all before then and I'll see you on the flip side